In this video, we will be giving information on the setup of parallel pipet, which can be used to identify the health and integrity of the cornea, conjunctiva and iris before demonstrating how to set the slit lamp up for an optical section, which allows us to assess the depth of any anomaly seen. Begin by setting the illumination system 45 degrees apart from the observation system, positioning the beam on the temporal side. A parallel pipet is set up by narrowing the beam to 1-2mm to two millimeters and increasing the brightness. Start with a low magnification and increase it if needing to gain a more detailed look. Then scan across the eye until it reaches the centre. We will then have to sweep the illumination system across to the nasal side, taking care you do not hit the patient's nose. This scanning procedure should be carried out in all positions of gaze and be repeated several times to check for any abnormalities of the conjunctiva, cornea or iris. To enable us to use an optical section, we want to narrow the beam even further to as thin as possible and increase the brightness to the maximum and increase the angle between the illumination system and observation system from 45 degrees to 60 degrees. This will help us to improve the resolution of the image seen on the cornea. Increasing the magnification will allow us to see the three main layers of the cornea in better detail. You may have to move the joystick slightly to get the layer of interest in focus. The section of the stroma can be broadened by increasing the angle between the illumination system and observation system. A section of the lens can also be obtained using this technique. Move the beam over the pupil and a section of the lens can be found. If the illumination system is positioned temporally, the anterior lens is also viewed temporally, with the posterior lens being blurred nasally. To achieve a clear image of the posterior lens, move your joystick slightly until it is in focus. This method is particularly helpful in assessing and identifying cataracts.